Hey, this is Carolyn, and I'm here with Aaron and Rachel, and we're going to talk about what to bring to states. A number of teams have made it to states. We've been there numerous times. So um, let's start with Aaron. What would you recommend that someone brings to states? Okay. So I've captained a lot of teams that have gone to states, and these are kind of silly. You're going to laugh, but um, we... Uh, play live and play in a place that when we go to states it's like the hottest it, it's just it's ridiculous like we have to really be careful about like heat and being affected by that so one year I was so nervous about my team playing in the heat that I bought a whole bunch of those like fans that you can put water in and squirt yourself with yeah you know hoping to like keep people cool um and I think I was like, you need to put ice water in this and then like spritz it on yourself during your match. <laughs> I <laughs> and like then, that. I like, like that. Too. And then um, I also brought those. There's like, there's cold packs where you like break them and then they can be like a cold pack. And I did that too, because like if you put, um, or like those cooling towels, I didn't give everybody a cooling towel, but um, you know, if you put them on like your big muscles, it really helps like cool your, you know, cool yourself down really quickly. Um, but those are things that I gave to my team because I was worried about them, you know, playing in the heat. So what about you, Rach? Yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm, I'm very sad that my teams did not make it to States this year, but 2022, that's going to be our year. That's right. Um, that's right. <laughs> so I'd say as, as a captain who has gone to States multiple times, um, I would tell people to, first of all, bring their winning attitude to States. Um, For sure. Why not to, and that's kind of a joke, but it's also kind of serious. Um, go to states knowing that you may not get to play in the, the what you may think are the hard matches or the most important matches. Your captain just wants you to be available, to be healthy, and to have a good time. That's really the, the point of it. I mean, we all want to bring home the banner, but um, you know, just bringing really a good attitude is a great is, is something that your captain will truly appreciate um bring your captain a gift <laughs> <laughs> again that was a Aaron, good. i'm totally Rachel kidding and Aaron both um, captain a ton so that's the reason right I, yeah. I, did I actually love it. it i love the fact that Aaron brought up the fact that that captains actually do often bring their teammates gifts because yeah. they have um items in there that can help them like the, the water fan and um little bottles of Prosecco. We had a captain do that. She threw in, she actually went so far as to text everyone's husbands to find out what they like to drink oh, and put that in their gift. I thought that was so sweet. So we had a couple of girls who didn't drink alcohol. So she got them a Coke, you know, and that they appreciated so that. So just little things like that. I think uh, maybe we've talked about mustard packets, you know, for the heat. Mm -hmm. Um, and just, you know, like I think she gave us a little tennis keychain, but that kind of thing really bonds your team you know, mm -hmm. b before you go on this really hot, usually yeah. um, stressful weekend, stressful, stressful. Weekend that is yeah. also oddly, really, really fun. Yes, I, mean, I can both. really explain it to people who haven't been, but it really is the most mm -hmm. fun, stressful vacation that you can go on with your tennis friends. You know? That's a good way to put it. Well, um, the first time I went, I didn't bring nice clothes. And then we went out to dinner, to dinner. and everybody's dressed up and I'm in my tennis clothes. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that I actually happened enough. to me too, Carolyn. I, same thing. I was running over to TJ Maxx to go try to find something to wear. Oh. I mean, you know. So yeah, that's that's a very good good point. And then obviously just water or anything that will hydrate you because I mean, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but in the summertime when sp spring states are usually in the summer and it's usually on hard courts that are hotter than, I mean, just, I feel like you can add 10 degrees to the, the outside temperature at minimum. And, you know, that is what you guys talked about hydration on an earlier podcast. It's so important. It is so important, and especially in stressful situations where you're wanting to, to bring home the win. I mean, again, like, We've all said it's mom tennis, but it's fun. It's 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 important to us. It's a championship, you know. We're competitive, so I play competitive tennis. So, those are some of the things I would say. Um, I think we. I don't want to. Um, another thing is a lot of these sites are at parks or places that may not have seating. Yes, mm -hmm. that's Bringing a good. A yeah, chair, yes. throwing a couple of chairs in the back of your car is not a bad idea. Yes for those players who are not playing in the match. Yeah. And um, 
uh, I actually had a, a teammate um, who played singles a lot for me when I captained and she was so smart to bring a chair. She would, I think I remember watching her have a match and she brought a chair and she could sit down at every changeover and oh, her, she took it out on the court with her. Yes. Oh, that's so smart. smart. I was like, I never that's even thought smart. about that. Yeah. But I think her opponent hadn't. So she was like sitting down on the ground on a towel or something, but I was like, Ooh, that was very smart. Cause it was, yeah. yeah, you have to sit, you know, sometimes between and there's not always benches depending on where you are. Yeah. Rachel, I I remember playing a match with you at States and we were somewhere where there was no benches, there was no water. I'm not even sure they had score cards, but we um I was so hot and so tired and when we changed places at the changeover, I sat down just on the tennis courts and I remember getting up and seeing like my butt print there and it like was <laughs> yeah. wet. And it stayed yeah. there for like a really long time, yes. like multiple yes. changeovers. And I did not care. I was just so hot. I remember I that I day. Yeah. I think I chugged, a, you know, you, you talked about chugging a Coke. I <laughs> never, I chugged a Coke that day and so I never hot. did that. It was so miserably hot. Was that at the college or different that, one? That was actually in, okay. in um, it was for your team, Erin. And it was okay. that day that you, I remember you and Emily played singles and we, singles. Carol and I had a very, very difficult no, that wouldn't have been your team. That must have been with somebody else because, yeah. Carolyn, you wouldn't have been old enough to be on that team. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. But I do yeah. remember chugging a Coke. That's <laughs> yeah. funny. Carolyn, yeah. do you, I'm assuming you bring your the Carolyn cooler with you to yeah. all states. All Gotta states. Bring I'm bringing cooler. that cool towel that I can yeah. use, multiple, you know, bottles of water, Coke, that if you see me drinking again, I'm in trouble. Um, and then, oh, one thing I thought about was that you know, you're not always playing in the matches. So you'll be watching the matches. And as Rachel mentioned, a lot of places don't have seating, but a lot, they don't have, you just are standing there watching a court and some people bring an umbrella and that umbrella makes the biggest difference. And I didn't have it the first year I went to States. Um, and so I remember like kind of scrunching under someone else's umbrella because it's so hot. There's no shade. And even if you're not playing, you don't want to be baking in the sun mm. for a long time. So maybe yeah. Yeah, that's a great too. one. Yeah. Mm. Usually if people are going to their state tournaments, they're, they're, probably drivable like they, they it's not like going to nationals where you're probably flying to it but yeah so just throw all that stuff in your car we were at states one time and this lady drove in from like you know an hour or two away and she forgot her tennis shoes and i remember her asking one of our teammates like that she you know she threw her flip-flops on like going out the door and then didn't have luckily somebody had a pair of shoes she was really nice and had you know asked around and somebody gave her a pair of tennis shoes, but that's the kind of stuff you like. I stress over that stuff when I get packed up for states because you know you are driving like several hours away, and you do need like just throw it all in your car when you think about what you need because exactly. you can get out there for you know you might have to run to TJ Maxx and get a pair of tennis that's shoes. That's right. Or <laughs> um, oh. Another thing I thought about when um, Carolyn mentioned scorecards is scorecards. Um, a lot of these flips uh, typically yeah. do not have anything to keep score, so you either need chalk. I used to keep sidewalk chalk in my bag because my kids drew with it. So I threw a couple of pieces in there and I've had as a captain's gift, <laughs> people give me a scorecard and I have lost two because I leave them on the net and forget about them. But my most recent one, I, ha I, I do make a very huge effort to remember to put it in my bag because it is a wonderful thing to have. And anytime you're at a, a you know public court that doesn't have. We're talking about the flip, uh, yeah, the flip score. Like portable little flip portable, cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It fits on the net. And yeah. Yeah. I've actually seen someone, this is a tip for that. Um, I've seen someone, cause you know, you, there's a black side and a white side and it's like black background, white number or white black, black background. And you know, people see black and white different. Like if they go, what do you, what color do you want to be? Then they're like, is it the background color or the number color? But someone I saw actually um, decorated like one side that was always home. I thought that's that was smart. So, that was that's so smart. cute. She was like, okay, we're going to, we're home. Like she brought her flip, flip chart. It's like a score flip chart, right? Flip, flip thing. And she did, she had like decorated the home side. So there was no confusion, um, confusion about who was what yeah. side. And we haven't said like the main things, which are like rackets, towels, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> These your are bag. Kind of extra stuff, your bag, like, yeah. but I would say an extra racket and yeah. yes. Because Definitely. I know as a two five, I only have my one racket from Target. Yes. So um, like strings do break or something yes. happens or maybe, yeah. you know, so an extra racket and, in case extra. your partner forgets theirs. 
Right. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly right. That's and did one. we talk about, did you guys mention mustard or any of those like things? Like I know we talked about sodas Rachel and stuff. mentioned mustard, but what else do people bring besides mustard? Is it? Ban I mean, I'd say like the kind of crazy stuff that's in my bag, just general stuff like, you know, um, ibuprofen, um, yes. um, you know, mustard packets, like we said. Um, I, I use those sports beans. If I start feeling a little, beans. uh, they have yeah, a little caffeine. They do get some, some, it, there, it's a lot of sugar, but I, I think Food. it's good to have something that can give you a pick, pick me up yeah. on the court. A if quick you're, one, maybe like a yeah. gummy or a something quick one. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. That gives you an extra boost of energy. It could get you through, you know, That's the right. next couple of games. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a marathon, two and a half hour match and 95 degrees in Hickory, yes. North Carolina. I don't know. Yes. Who knows where? <laughs> there's somewhere very hot. Them. Somewhere very, very hot. Yeah. Somewhere very, very hot. Well, these, these are all, I think, great. And um, let us know if you guys have anything else we should bring with us to States. You can message us on our Facebook page, which is Second Serve Podcast. Thanks so much for listening and hope to see you on the court soon.